Welcome. In this video, we will walk through the steps to connect an Insight Snap to a Rockwell PLC. We will be using a Rockwell Compact Logix PLC, also referred to as a programmable logic controller, and using Studio 5000 Logix designer programming software. This video will cover the following steps of the process preparing the Insight Snap for PLC connection, installing and setting up the PLC to connect to the Insight Snap. Importing runks to use and which are currently available to use. Example of triggering the Insight Snap sensor using a PLC. As well as an overall review of the process. Let's begin by discussing what is used to connect the Insight Snap to the PLC. To begin preparing the Insight Snap for the PLC connection, we will first set up the appropriate communications. On the home page, click the Manage Communication Settings button to open the communication settings. Navigate to the Communications tab. Here you will find the available protocols. Select Ethernet IP by clicking the radio button. Next, toggle the inputs and output switches under the device I.O. header. Click the Apply button when finished. When the input switch is toggled on, it allows the PLC to send commands to the InSight Snap sensor. When the output switch is toggled on, it allows inspection results and signals to be sent to the PLC. The final step is to change the trigger type from self to single trigger for the PLC. Navigate to step 5, finalize tab to set the trigger. The default trigger type self will trigger the insight snap. The single trigger will trigger from an external source, such as the PLC or a discrete input. Next, navigate to RS Links. RS Links is a tool that browses and finds Ethernet IP devices on the network. This is a separate software application provided by Rockwell. Please download it from the Rockwell website or contact Rockwell for guidance. The Insight Snap sensor is found on the same IP address. However, there is a question mark next to the name of the Insight Snap camera. The question mark means that RS Links does not know the identity of the Insight Snap yet. To locate your Insight Snap, click on the appropriate Ethernet connection. Once your sensor is found, proceed to Logix Designer, which is a part of the Studio 5000 Rockwell software package. Next, run Rockwell's EDS hardware installation tool. Open the Tools menu and select EDS hardware installation tool from the list. We want to register the Insight Snap EDS file electronic datasheet. An installation window opens. Click the Register a Device Description File button to launch the device window and add selected device description files only. Click the Register a Single Device Description File button. Then click the Browse button and navigate to your EDS file, which you downloaded from the Cognex website. Click the Next button and follow the instructions until you reach the Finish page to complete the installation. Exit the Device Wizard. Return to RS Links. You should now see the Insight Snap icon in place of the question mark. Once the Rockwell EDS installation is complete, navigate to Logix Designer within the Controller Organizer list and right-click Ethernet. Select New Module from the option list to create a new module. The Select Module window displays. Filter through the Cognex devices to select the appropriate module type Check Cognex Corporation under Module Type Vendor Filters and locate your Insight Snap sensor in the Module Type list. After selecting the appropriate options, click the Create button on the bottom right of the Module Type pop-up screen. A new window named New Module will appear where you can input the name and IP address of your Insight Snap device. Make note of this new name since you will be using it for future steps. Once complete, click the OK button to finish. You also have the option to change your keying under the Module Definition section. Change electronic keying to exact match from the drop-down list and click OK to finish. Return to the Logix Designer screen. You will notice under the Controller Tags section that there are two new sets of tags created from the EDS files for the Insight Snap. We can begin the process of importing the required rungs. Runs are ladder logic, which make up a run routine that is part of the main task scan. It updates with input and output data. It can read inputs from external devices and set outputs to those external devices over Ethernet IP. Locate and right-click the end option displayed in the main program main routine panel. 
click on the Import Rungs option in the list. A new window will appear for Import Configuration. You will see a list of imported names within the Configure Tag Reference panel. Identify which import names are labeled as undefined. You'll need to change these to the operation use existing by renaming the default Insight Snap name to the name you chose previously. There are three imported sets of rungs provided by Cognex which are available to use, triggering, read inspection results, and change programs. When the import is complete, these rungs will be visible. To import additional rungs, you may repeat the process. We will be importing one more rung set to obtain results in an easier way. Open and import the results rung file. Since we do not see anything labeled undefined, we can click OK to proceed. Once the necessary rungs have been installed, click the offline drop-down arrow and select Download from the list. A window will open and ask to change the controller and enter Run Mode. Select Yes. Once the download is complete, we can see the device is connected and running and has created multiple defined data types to the PLC. You can now use the PLC with the Insight Snap. A PLC can now be used to trigger the Insight Snap sensor. Within Logix Designer, we can test this by using the Insight Snap Manual Trigger. We can see that the device is connected and running. We can now use the Manual Trigger to manually trigger the Insight Snap sensor. Now right-click on Manual Trigger and select Toggle Bit to trigger the sensor once. This will capture one image. You may also use Ctrl-T to toggle the trigger. When looking at Monitoring View on the Insight Snap UI, we can see that the PLC is triggering the Insight Snap to capture that new image from one new inspection. There is also a rung that creates a free running timer. To activate this, click on the Auto Trigger rung to start triggering twice each second. As you can see from the monitoring view, it is triggering automatically. To stop the Auto Trigger, right click on the Auto Trigger rung and select Toggle Bit. That's how simple it is to trigger the system. Now if you want to let it auto-trigger, simply press Ctrl-T on the auto-trigger. It starts triggering twice every second. At this point, we can see a static image. These results can be found on the last rung on the status result rung at the bottom right of the main program main routine panel. The last inspection result is a pass indicated by the number 1. You can also navigate back to the controller tags window and open the part results list to see more detailed results. These include application type, inspection status code, and confidence level. For this program, the application type value is 1, which refers to anomaly detection. The inspection status code value is 0, which refers to a valid inspection. To see a no good result, move an object in front of the part. To review, in this video we covered the following. Getting the Insight Snap ready for the PLC connection. How to install and set up the PLC to see the Insight Snap. How to import the rungs to use and which are available to use currently. And provided an example of using the PLC to trigger the Insight Snap sensor. The steps are easy once you have all the basics set up for the PLC and Insight Snap sensor. Enjoy the Insight Snap sensor and its integration with Rockwell PLCs. Thank you for watching.